This is question 28, chapter 5 from H.C. Verma, volume 1 and the corresponding figure is 5E12. Now, in this one it's easy to visualize that if this pulley is stationary, then M3 is going to come down and let's say that acceleration is A and M2 is going to move up and let's say that this acceleration will also be the same as A. But as this pulley is going to come down with, say, acceleration AP, so M3 is going to have an acceleration of A plus AP, and M2 is going to have an acceleration of A minus AP. Upwards, this is going to have downwards. Now, whatever is the acceleration of this pulley, this mass M1 is also going to move up with the same acceleration, and that is AP. Now let's look at tensions in various strings. Let's say this string has tension T. This string will also have tension T. In that case, this string will have a tension 2T because this is a massless pulley. So this T and this T here is going to appear here as 2T. This string will also have a tension of 2T. And these assumptions that 2T here, 2T here will be valid till this pulley has no mass and it is a frictionless pulley. All those kind of assumptions that we make in an Atwood machine. Now let's write force equation. For one kg block for M1, 2T up minus one kg block 1G down is equal to one into AP. For M3, M3G, so 3G down minus T up is equal to M into A, so 3 into A plus AP. For M2, T up minus, it's a 2 kg block, so 2G is equal to MA, so 2 into A minus AP. I'm calling this as equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So if I add 2 and 3, 2 plus 3, I get G is equal to 5A plus AP. And if I substitute this into 3, I get T minus 2G is equal to, I have 2A, A I will put up, minus 2AP, and A I will put up from here. So G minus AP upon 5. Now if you solve it, now I have an equation now, in this equation, this equation is now in T and AP, and I have this equation 1 in T and AP. If you solve these two, then you can get the value of AP, which is the acceleration of M1, M1. And uh, now the question is, there is also a question to find out this AP and also the acceleration of M2 and M3. The question is that this block is 20 centimeter away from this pulley. So how much time will it take to strike this pulley? So that 20 centimeter S is equal to UT, it starts from rest, plus half A, which is AP into T square. And you can find the value of T also. Hope you will be able to solve this question. Do let me know if you have any difficulty in getting the right answer.